Hi, I'm Naki. I went to Homolkian School nearly 10 years ago and I definitely have so many memories there. Um, some of my favourite ones were definitely being part of the school plays. I always found them so much fun. Besides the beautiful teachers would be our football pitch. Year 6 camp, it was the last time that as a year group we spent an extended amount of time together and it was the last thing we did before we all went off to secondary school. It was so fun to get away from home and be with your friends for like three nights and it was just a really, really fun time. The friends I made throughout my time at Hongkian, but primarily year six, are friends that I have today and um, I can't thank Hongkian enough for the memories. I remember the playground and the field. For some reason, the class, I don't remember too much of what happened in the classroom. I started in nursery way back in 1987 or 88. I went all the way through the school up to year six and abroad for university and then came back to look for a job. So I was looking in the papers and it just so happened that I saw an ad for a teaching assistant position. I applied and got the job. When I applied for the job here, the first person I bumped into was my old teacher in the playground, um, Mr. John Bale. I bet I must have made him feel really old. <laughs> my favourite thing about school is probably the start of the day. Lots of nice teachers. My favourite thing about the school has to be the library. That we have loads of sports tournaments and we get to do different projects and it's not always the same schedule. All of the camps, yeah, it's really fun. Each year we have a cultural trip where we go out of Hong Kong. The after school activities when we occasionally go outside and do some things in the nature. I started as a teaching assistant for EAL, became a class teacher here. Now this year I've um, become the forest school leader. So yeah, I've spent a lot of time here. It's funny now that my daughter is just starting pre-nursery. <laughs> it's all a bit uh, crazy. Hi, I'm Susie Natal. I've been part of the school in one way, shape or form for the last 27 years. The parents that were initially involved with, they had a, a play group in the show houses uh, over uh, on First Street now where the, the first few houses are. The reception and nursery classes were, were held there because the, the main school building was the only one that was built. The board was very strong in, the, in their vision and the depth to what they saw our school could be and worked very hard in developing that. This school always evolves to meet the needs of the community and the changing world. We started off as a school that wasn't an inquiry school, it was um, a totally different curriculum and we went through all the PYP accreditation. We've gone on to looking at mindfulness, well-being, positive education, uh, yoga courses, obviously the huge excitement and development of Forest School, which now we're the, the first people in Hong Kong to have that award. In terms of memories, I know people will remember the school fairs, the helicopter at Christmas time where the children were all able to go inside the helicopter, watch it land, watch it take off. We had Monte Carlo nights and we had quiz nights. The plays, the circle times, trips out, theatre visits, the party in the park, graduation. It really helped with the homesickness from when we first came here. So help us stuck into the school and get to know other parents and many, many other nationalities, way more than we would have known in Canada for sure. So many precious memories. But of course, the biggest thing has to be the community. I've never worked in a school that's had such a fantastic community of parents, teachers, and students. Although there's been changes over the years, I think that family aspect to our school is still very, very special and very strong. I think the teachers are so magic and so caring and kind that they, they do impact you in a way that, that makes you part of their, their family forever. I think what has changed, well, the school has gotten bigger, the classroom and technology has gotten fancier, obviously. The class sizes were very tiny, actually. And I remember when they talked about putting it up to 25, the uproar that went out. 25 students in a class? Absolutely not. So what you see now is the culmination of the early visionaries of what ICHK Homo could be to where we are now. 
um, starting from a real grassroots kind of organization and ending up not just with grass but with a whole forest concept. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been an interesting journey for me to be able to lead the development of our forest school program in these past two years. We've got really big plans um, to keep this program going and developing. The exciting thing for me looking back has been the way we've evolved and I'm sure we will just carry on evolving with the joy of being part of such a fantastic community and such beautiful surroundings. The very, very best friends that we made in our lives for the, the friends that we made in ICHK Hamlock Ewan.